Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here today to discuss a director's note that dropped, I think, a few hours or no. It uh, dropped already a couple of hours uh, before I slept last night. So we're going to take a look at the new chapter 14 and the first anniversary director's notes. So let's proceed to this one. So there will be a new story for chapter 13 and new content. So this is actually a quite a bit of um, good news in terms of the updates that we that they have in terms of new characters they put in the game and um, the new FC that, that will be dropping today after the maintenance. But for this one, um, this is in celebration for the Korea launch first anniversary celebration message. So if you could take a look, um, so Dorcas, their their mascot, <laughs> kind of their mascot for the first anniversary. So um, uh, the Korea launch turned one year. So now it's November. I think they turned one year, I think late October or early November. In lieu of this event, they will be giving out a couple of uh, freebies for us. So a token of their gratitude. So they'll, they'll be giving out 11 free premium recruit event uh, summons, so up to 11 times. So first anniversary coupon, so it's a community event. A hot time increase daily challenge content reward, unequipping weapons and armors for free. I'll tell you guys, this one, the hot, hot time event has been very useful for the community because it boosts rewards. And um, I really enjoy um, rearranging the weapons from different heroes to another um, because it it really gives you gives you a way on how to tweak your roster or to tweak your individual heroes and also there will be attendance book renewal for return users and leafy's gift for seven days event and okay wait for that um including dorka and dorka's orange tier fate core as the first anniversary celebration so i think the 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 FC, the uh, the Fate Core, the Orange Fate Core would look like this, I assume. So just to scroll down the, the new events that will be happening. So there will be a new uh, story chapter 14 to be to be released after chapter 13. I hope this this chapter 14 does not isn't really that 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 uh, what do you call this that hard because people are still having a hard time clearing chapter 12. And chapter 13 uh, I hope that chapter 14 would not be as would not be more difficult than chapter 13 I hope it's just as difficult so let's let's find out once 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 this drops okay the next is eternal bond so the new content from which you can obtain faded heroes will be added eternal bond is a system that you can choose a hero from the list Form a bond and log in for a certain period to obtain the hero you've chosen. For an eternal bond, the bond visit Exos heroes every day to get an attendance reward every five days as well as the hero you have chosen. So my understanding of this is choose a hero, log in, then after five days, you'll get the hero. So this is good because, because um, there are a lot of um, new players or free to play players were struggling in 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 looking for in looking for what do you call this in summoning or recruiting uh, heroes so i hope this includes um faded heroes i don't know if generals are included here but i sure hope so so um we go next to unleash potential so new in new enhanced stages and unleash potential for faded heroes will be added so I actually went went through this already and um, Anish Potential, even if, for example, for heroes that have Anish Potential, um, once once they get their Fate Cores, uh, their skill changes doesn't matter in their Anish Potential. They will still use uh, their skills in their newly acquired Fate Core. So they will only carry over their stats. But apparently for this one, uh, the previous uh, Anish Potential used to enhance only hero's ability and skills. So the system was not useful enough for users who use Fate Cores. Again, the added Anish Potential from this update will maintain the enhanced effects 
of wearing fate course so i hope the skill enhance the enhanced skill effects actually give additional bonuses and we have also added a leash potential for fated heroes so that yours can make virus strategies with more powerful heroes well this is good because this is this is a another way of trying to customize your heroes in terms of in terms of stats abilities so for air squadron support the new system in which air squadron members can exchange materials will be added so this one is also good because it also encourages sharing between squadron members so i don't know how how this plays out or which materials can be shared and which which can be which which materials cannot be shared so let's find out once this rolls out also they'll be rolling out improvements on pv pvp contents so we have confirmed that playtime has been unnecessarily lengthened due to specific combination of heroes in pvp contents such as the Benstunier or Air Squadron Battle. For now, all heroes will receive damage proportional to each hero's max HP after playing certain turns in PvP contents. This penalty damage will be applied directly to hero's health, ignoring invincibility, immunity, and barrier. Also, we have extended the time limit for each turn up to 15 to 20 seconds. We have added some improvements so that players can play games more strategically by checking hero's buff and status the combinations and skills so at this point I, i'm not sure how this will play out but i'm i'm, I'm actually good or for uh pvp improvements because the pvp tag and pvp are good but it needs a, something to spice it up it's it's now come to a point that it's it's already it's already um kind of stagnant that the older players are looking for some kind of a twist and i hope this one helps helps it out so let's move on to the new fate core theme so we're preparing a new fate core theme in the concept of growth so we'll soon meet exos heroes cute heroes this time with their mature appearance okay so cute heroes concept of growth so this means that they will be bringing out fate cores in which the characters will be younger probably like Bathory so this is what what I'm what I'm understanding so others so lucky box we have prepared a small gift to users who visit the shop every day visit shop once a day to get a random gift such as this gold a chance to purchase a special product and so on so this is actually a kind of a loyalty rewards if you're visiting the shop so this is also actually good automatic daily quest so new function which automatically proceeds six daily quests in a single touch will be added yes this is actually very good because they've done this already with uh, with with the challenges so they've lumped all the auto auto play or the tickets that you can do it all at once so for the daily quest this is good because you also spend time in the daily quest with such a repetitive task you do it every day this function would 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 even um make it better for the player base because uh this will hasten things um because it's really annoying just to keep on repeat repeating the same thing every day and there's no strategy even to it anymore so it's just a repetitive task so this is a very good improvement the automatic daily quest next would be your dispatch report so we have added a new system in which you can easily check the completed dispatch content such as exploration treasure hunting and dispatch the dispatch report will appear in airship world village if there is any completed dispatch content for the report so you can check the result on the completed content and restart it again so this is also good because sometimes you you forget that that these are already finished and uh, as soon as they're finished you restart them again so it's good that you get a dispatch report that these are finished so that you as soon as they're finished you could um run them again Next would be merge daily challenges, 
content difficulties easy hard normal difficulty and daily challenge contents will be merged for the beginners so the merge dungeon will require an open condition for former easy difficult as well as ba battle balance but the reward will be given as a former hard difficulty so i'm not clear with this yet um we'll just have to see uh how this plays out when when this rolls out so also for managed heroes we have improved the convenience and contents on that consumes heroes the locked hero can now be would now be consumed and the guide message will be provided while using the locked hero you may now transcend using multiple heroes at once this is actually very good because <laughs> It's really very redundant that you have to repeat the process for the same hero. So I like this one because this is a great, um, this is a great, um, what it calls improvement in the way of life of a of a player. Next would be our inventory. So I've read through this already, and this is actually just simply put. Right now, the game um, counts counts your inventory counts your gear even if it's equipped with a specific hero your inventory does not does not go down once you equip a gear to a hero so this is good because i think they would they would remove the the the, the weapon or the armor count from the inventory once it is equipped this is a good improvement on what we're doing right now or in our daily grind so that we don't have to upgrade um, our inventory now and then or just to dismantle equipments or sell equipment just to clear up space so this is pretty much very good in terms of in terms of the closing comments I'm sure that um, XO Zeros is trying to improve our our you know the way we play the game the way we interact with the game make it easier uh, make it uh, less time consuming and this is a good step in the right direction i also hope that in the future exo zeros would come up with more content with more permanent and good content the the only content that i really didn't like was the the halloween event the Halloween raid or something. I didn't even play that. Um, it's not what we're used to. It's not what we want. Uh, the rewards are, for me, not even worth it because you'll be spending time again with a different concept in a different, I don't know. I just I just don't like it. Uh, in terms of content, it needs improvement as well. But this, this guys, is a good, is a very good direction that they're taking in terms of improving the quality of life of all EXO's Heroes players. I think um, they're catching up in terms of what they can improve and I think they're listening to the player base already. Um, we just need more content. Okay, so EXO's Heroes, if you're listening to me, we need more content. The players need to be busy with content, not, not be busy with all the small stuff. That is all for me guys um, hope you're all safe with your family keep each other safe let's all pray that this pandemic would be over soon this is the warden and i'm out